Yo, what to do, YouTube? <clears throat> it's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. Y'all know who it is. One of the hottest bloggers from down south. We back in these YouTube streets. And this time, this segment here is about Lil Josh. <clears throat> Lil Josh is a Baton Rouge legend. You feel me? And I don't know, did he come out before Boosie <clears throat> or after Boosie? But y'all can let me know down there in the comments. But um, I can remember in the past, Lil Josh had done dropped the song called Jigga Juice. You feel me? Which was on one of the badass. Uh, it was on one of Booster mixtapes back in the days. That was trending. I'm on that Jigga Juice. I'm on that Jigga Juice. I can't remember all of the song, but I can remember that hook right there. I just thought it was somebody from Trill Entertainment. I didn't know it was actually... Lil Josh song. But anyway, not to get off subject, Lil Josh speaks on his CEO B Lo being shot in the head at a concert. Now everything that I'm saying is entertainment purposes and it's allegedly. But he spoke on it. It happened in 2005. He said he was at the bottom bash where Boosie was a he said, yeah, he was at the bottom bash where Boosie was. Now, allegedly, they said that the CEO, b was shot over some bootleg CDs. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but it's some rumors circulating. He was asked about it on the Witty. I think I forgot what's bro name, but shout out to Witty. That's who did the interview with Lil Josh. But he was asked about it. And basically, he said, you know, that allegedly it was over some selling bootleg CDs. Now, it's kind of confusing because I was thinking b -Lo and c -Lo was the same person, but these two different people. c -Lo is the one that discovered Boosie, you know what I mean? Which was, I think, Boosie first tape when it came out. It was up on the concentration camp. You feel me? CeeLo was the one discovered Boosie, and I'm guessing b -Lo is the one that discovered Lil Josh and um, Webby. But it may, I, I did my little research on Lil Josh, and back in the days, I could see he was in heavy rotation. You know what I mean? Uh, the song, Mama, I'm Sorry, that he got with uh, Lil Juice, it's over a million views. And plus, you know, the Jigga Juice song. That's, that video also is probably at a million views or whatnot. But I got to do some more research on Lil Josh because he telling a lot of throwback Baton Rouge stories that a lot of, of us out of towners want to hear, man. Because all we know from the outside looking in, all we know about is Trill Entertainment. TBG, you know what I mean? We don't know about the concentration camps and Lil Josh and Lil Juice like that because I don't know it's because they was out there thugging in the streets and wasn't really taking their career serious, but you know, we, we tuned in. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that, about um, Lil Josh bringing up the incident about b -Lo allegedly getting shot in the head over some bootleg CDs, man. I'll be with y'all shortly, man. Drop a comment. Y'all know what it is. The door open is on the floor. I'm gone.